Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a minute guys. I know, I know. I plan to do like a full get ready with me or maybe even like a spa facial moment at home with you guys just so we can catch up, talk about where I've been. But the main objective of today's video is to give you guys the tea on what I would recommend for you guys to pick up at the Sephora VIB sale. If you are Rouge, the sale has already started. But if you're just, you know, the standard VIB, it starts on Tuesday the 18th. So I just wanted to quickly get this video up for you and let you guys know what products I've been loving as of late. We're gonna talk skincare, makeup, body care, all that good stuff. And of course, everything that I mentioned today will be linked in the description box below, so check it out there. I'm also gonna create a link with more in-depth products, including shades of each product that I use, just so that this video is not as lengthy and I wanna share a lot more skincare and makeup products that are like my absolute faves, just in case if you guys wanna look at something else to try out. I'll create a more in-depth list on my Shop My Shelf so you guys can check out like all my favorite lip liners, favorite serums, bronzers, all that good stuff. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For all my Muslim followers who are fasting, I never got a chance to say Ramadan Mubarak for you guys here. So I just want to say Ramadan Mubarak. I know we made it all the way to the end. Isn't it so crazy? Time has flown by. I haven't really dived into a lot of makeup content because I really wanted to focus on my ibadah during this month. So once we finish Ramadan and celebrate Eid, I'll be hitting you guys with some more consistent content, inshallah. I feel like today, Today is the first time that I put on a little zhuzh of makeup. I have so many things that I cannot wait to try with you guys and so many looks planned. So I cannot wait, inshallah, after eat to get into those with you guys. But with that being said, get comfortable and let's dive into today's video. So first we're gonna start off with skincare because you guys already know in order to have a fire base, your skin's gotta be on point. You gotta make sure you take care of your skin. And since we're diving into more warmer temperatures, I wanted to share my top three SPFs that I feel like you guys should definitely check out during this sale. And just as a refresher, my skin type is dry. So all the products that I recommend are more catered towards my skin type. First, I wanna start off with this SPF from Believe. You know Believe comes through every time when it comes to hydrating products, okay? they do not disappoint. I just love all of their products in general. But this is their Aqua Bomb Broad Spectrum SPF 50, the lightweight texture. And honestly, guys, it is too good, okay? I have it on today and I literally just put on the most tiniest amount of makeup just so I can look a little refreshed, okay? <laughs> for you guys today and it serves as the best primer underneath makeup because a lot of the times you know when you go in with a certain moisturizer it causes your makeup to start peeling up this one does not do that so if you're looking for an SPF that you can wear every day on your bare skin as well as underneath makeup as a really good primer this one is it for my dry skin girlies because it's super hydrating super dewy the skin looks super moisturized and perfection okay another super hydrating SPF for my dry skin girls definitely this one from Lenin Honestly, I think I was using it religiously all last summer. It was that good. And this is their Hydro UV Defense Sunscreen SPF 50. It's hyperallergenic. It has no white cast and it's dermatologist tested. And I forgot to mention, all of the SPFs they don't have a white cast, okay? Because ain't nobody got time for that. And you know, I would never recommend you guys a SPF that will have you out here looking cast kit ready, okay? That is just not the tea. That is not the vibes. So this SPF is so good if you have dry skin and it's, again, amazing for a great primer for the seasons to come. If you're looking to protect your skin, which you always should, okay? You should always protect your skin because when you don't wear your SPF, you develop more hyperpigmentation, which is very common for women of color. So you wanna make sure you protect your skin and then slay and beat your face, period, all right? And this is not gonna cause your makeup to ball up either. So you're gonna be hydrated, glowy, fresh-faced or slaying with a beat face, period, okay? Now this one from Super Goop, I'm sure you guys have all heard of it before. This is their Unseen SPF 40. It's their broad spectrum SPF 40. It's water and sweat resistant. But what I really like about this one is that it's not too dewy. This is one that I feel like I will be reaching for. You know when it starts to get hella hot.com in these streets, okay? Like when the temperature gets really hot and honestly here in Toronto, I don't know about you guys, but we went from like really cold and just went straight into like warm temperatures. So I feel like this is one I would be wearing a lot if I'm going to be getting hot outside, okay? Because it's bound to happen. Because even though I have dry skin, Skin, you're still gonna sweat, right? And I feel like this one, what it does that I'm really intrigued by is that it kind of has like a blurring effect onto your skin. So it's not as dewy as the other two. So that's why I would recommend this, honestly, if you have oily or combination skin and as well as dry skin, but you want something on the days that it's hot, like I said, that will keep you not too greasy or too glowy. This is really, really good. It does not ball up 
and it does not affect your makeup as well so all three SPFs are a 10 out of 10 and when it comes to serums I really wanted to share these two from drunk elephant just because I feel like they've become such a huge staple in my skincare routine this one I use almost every single day this is the B Hydra intensive hydration serum it has a pineapple ceramide and pro vitamin B and like I mentioned before I do have dry skin so in the morning I really like to use this serum because lately when I wake up my skin has just been feeling really really dry and that's why I feel like I need to desperately do a whole home facial situation because my skin definitely needs it and maybe I'll film that with you guys and share what I like to do at home to just get my skin right and refreshed and moisturized when it's feeling not its best but this serum always comes clutch and makes my skin feel too good now when it comes to texture because I do have texture like my main skincare concerns are always hyperpigmentation texture and hydration so this serum from drunk elephant if you have textured skin when I tell you it is like a miracle in a bottle it will really clear your texture ASAP okay now this is their TLC glycolic night serum it has 10% AHA and 1% BHA and raspberry extract and it's meant to refine and retexturize your skin this serum is so worth the investment guys if you want to pick it up during the sale because after like a week or two I already see my texture improving it's that good but what I want to mention to you guys is of course it does have like AHAs and BHAs so it is more of a stronger serum so if you have extremely sensitive skin maybe start off with like a patch test before you go ahead and apply it to the rest of your face because I don't want you guys to have any allergic reactions or any extreme sensitivities because you know all of our skin types is different and what works for me might not work for you but for me this has been a 10 out of 10 so I also wanted to mention a face mask that I love and I'm sure you guys have seen it all over your TikTok for you page it was like impossible to get at one point because it was selling out constantly and this is from Caudalie one of my favorite brands as well this is their instant detox mask and it's meant to tighten your pores remove excess oil and it's basically like a clay mask I know that might sound like surprising as to why someone with dry skin would want to use this but personally I feel like if you have dry skin you can get away with using it as well because for example like around your nose when you really want to clear uh, whiteheads or blackheads when I really want a deep clean of my skin this will do that but it does not dry out my skin so I really feel like it's one of those products that are universal for all skin types because after I use this mask my skin is just smooth and feels fresh and clean now of course you can always mix it if you do have like really really dry skin you can always go ahead and mix it with this mask from Caudalie which is their Venosaurus hydrating moisturizing mask put this two together 10 out of 10 chef's kiss your skin will be fresh clean and hydrated okay so you can always do something like that too but honestly it is not too drying at least for me and I just feel like now that we're entering into spring and summer even if you have dry skin you're gonna be sweating a lot you're gonna be producing a lot of oils on your face and it's important to make sure you clean your face well and treat your skin to a weekly face mask you know just to get rid of all of those impurities and gunk from the week and this one is just gonna do your skin right every single time okay totally eats when it comes to skincare period all right and that's pretty much everything that I wanted to mention to you guys in regards to skincare for body care I only have two products that I really really wanted to mention because I don't think I've mentioned these two before now this one is from Caudalie as well and when I tell you guys I absolutely swear by this deodorant like it is too good and this is their Vino fresh 24 hour natural deodorant and this is what it looks like honestly if I had to recommend like a must-have body care product if you really want to try a new deodorant this would be it for me because it's something that I continue to repurchase I never had an allergic reaction to this even for me I'm restocking on this deodorant during the Sephora so honestly guys it's on the top of my list <laughs> of products to repurchase because I use it that much and if I can save on it during the sale I'm gonna stock up okay and I even got my mom addicted to this deodorant it's too good so definitely go ahead and check it out for my girls who love a natural deodorant 10 out of 10 totally you did that and if they were to discontinue this product honestly it would literally break my heart because I love it that much now the next product I want to mention to you guys is a body cream and it's from Fenty Skin and I'm sure all of you guys have seen Fenty Skin's body creams going hella viral.com on TikTok like I swear the shimmering one that they had for the holiday season that went viral like crazy and honestly it was super justified because the way this body cream will have your skin moisturized okay hydrated and it's not one of those body creams that like you apply it to your skin and instantly like after an hour later you're ashy again because who has time for that 
Who? Nobody. Nobody has time for that, okay? But what I really, honestly, really, really like about it is that certain body creams, they can be too thick in consistency. That makes it really hard to like apply it onto your skin. And, you know, right when you hop out of the shower, this one does not do that. The consistency is really easy to apply onto your skin. And honestly, since I have really dry skin as well as KP on my skin or what people like to call strawberry legs, this keeps my skin super moisturized and I have to use more hydrating products for that skin concern specifically. And this does a great job. I forgot to even mention the name to you guys. I mean, not mentioning the name of the body cream though. This is their <laughs> Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. But I personally prefer the original guys because it has no shimmer. When I applied the other one, all your clothes and everything would just have the shimmer all over it too. So whether you have dry skin or not, this is something that you would absolutely love. And it's another product that I hope never discontinues because it is too good. Fenty Skin honestly has become a really strong contender in my like top favorite skincare brands because they just have been pumping out hit after hit after hit. But do we expect anything less from Rihanna? No, absolutely not. That pretty much brings me to the end of skincare and body care. Yes, now we can dive into makeup and I have a good amount of products that I want to recommend to you guys. A lot of my faves will be in the description box below because guys, your girl is fasting, okay? And as much as I would love to tell you all of my favorite products and make this like a 30 minute video, I will be tired at thirsty.com and ain't nobody got time for that. So what I'm gonna do is keep my list in the description box. So hopefully you guys can give me a little grace and the next Sephora sale I'll go more in. So we're gonna start off with Rare Beauty because I could just say it's one of those brands like Fenty, Charlotte Tilbury, or NARS. Like they just have so much hits and no misses for me. So I'm gonna start off with the most viral product that's going crazy right now. This is their tinted lip oils. I'm wearing this shade today. I tell you I cannot wait to do a full review. I will do a full lip swatch and review for you guys whether it's on TikTok or on here. If I do do it as a TikTok, I'll upload it as a YouTube short so you guys can still see it here as well. But I wanted to really wear this shade today just so I can give you guys an idea of what their deepest shade in the collection looks like on my skin tone. This is in the shade Affection. When I tell you guys, when I saw the shades on the Rare Beauty page, I was like, this one is gonna be my go-to because I personally like to use a tinted lip balm or a lip oil every single day. Like when I'm running errands, I just feel like it just gives a little like color to my face. It makes me feel like a little cute. When I saw this product from Rare Beauty, I already knew I was gonna be a stan and I love the fact that it leaves a stain on your lips too. So after like the dewiness kind of disappears, you still have that color pigment there. I just feel like Selena did her thing on this lip oil. And again, I will follow up with a full swatch, but if you guys can get your hands on any of the shades, the formula is everything, all right? Now, another product that I wanted to mention to you guys is their eye brightener. I use the shade medium tan. It's like the perfect shade for my under eyes. And when I tell you guys, color correcting is so important to me. Like I really like to make sure, you know, I cancel out my hyperpigmentation, my dark circles, because then you're gonna get a flawless beat. You know, you wanna look nice and refreshed and awake, all right? And this product does an amazing job of canceling out your dark circles without drying out your under eyes. In fact, I kind of feel like it moisturizes my under eyes and it makes it feel super dewy and hydrated. And I love that the applicator is this metal applicator, which feels so cooling underneath the eyes. So in a way it kind of feels like it's depuffing your under eyes, if that makes sense. And I like the fact that also you can wear it even with no makeup because it blends into my skin perfectly. So overall, 10 out of 10 if you're looking for an under eye color corrector. Now, when it comes to another instant viral product from Rare Beauty, and I'm sure you guys have all seen on your For You page as well, is their new powder highlighters. Oh my gosh, when they launched this, I was so excited for them to launch this formula. And I really, really hope they launch powder blushes as well because they just slay when it comes to their product formulas every single time. And I really like the shade Flaunt. It's a beautiful golden shade. Like I'm wearing it today. I'm not giving you guys the justice of the shade today. I feel like I really want to do like a full face beat. So you can really see the glow that it gives. But what I really like is the fact that it gives you a beautiful glow without feeling chalky on the skin and kind of looking, you know how certain highlighters can do that, right? It doesn't feel chalky. It doesn't feel glittery. It's just beautiful and buttery on the skin. The last two products that I want to mention to you guys from Rare Beauty, because like I said, I can sit here all day and talk about all Rare Beauty products, but I don't want to do that to you guys. But the last two products I want to mention to you are their cream bronzer stick. You know how before I never used to be a cream bronzer blush type of girl. I was all about powder product. Well, Rare Beauty honestly is what pushed me into the direction of loving it because they blend onto the skin like butter. It is everything. I can get away with using the shade True Warm or the shade Always Sunny, but she extended her shade range to include, I think, more neutral and cool tones. So I really want to pick up another shade just so I can let you guys know what other tones I can pull off in the bronzer 
sticks. I used a little bit of it today just to give some like color in my cheeks. My last Rare Beauty product that I want to mention to you guys, this is their Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. This one is not like a setting spray. I kind of feel like it's a face refresher. So let's say when you finish all of your makeup and you want to get rid of the powdery feeling from setting your face with a powder or your under eyes with a translucent powder, all that good stuff, and you want to refresh the skin and have it all blend in like butter, this one is what I reach for all the time. As you can see, it's well loved. I honestly have been reaching for this a lot more than let's say my MAC Fix Plus, which is one that I've been using for years to refresh my base, you know? And I like the way that it sprays too. It's very even, you know? It doesn't leave blotches on your skin, which I hate with certain setting sprays. But if you want to give it a try, they also have like this mini size too. So if you want to give it a try and pick it up during the Sephora sale, 10 out of 10. And I feel like a lot of the times people's makeup doesn't look like skin because they don't use a setting mist or a, like a setting spray to kind of like refresh the skin before they lock their makeup in with like a long lasting setting spray. So definitely check this out. Now to lock in the makeup all day long, I love this setting spray from Urban Decay. I used to love the original all nighter spray, especially like during the summer and I really need to have my makeup not going nowhere. I used to love that spray, but this one just made it like, oh my gosh, I love it more than the original, which is kind of crazy. I never thought I would like a setting spray more than the original, but Urban Decay really did their thing. It gives you glow, it gives you dewiness, it gives your skin like just butteriness, okay? And it sprays just as beautifully onto the skin like the original one, but this one gives you that dewier finish. So if you have more normal to dry skin, you'll enjoy this more. But if you have more oily skin, I would say stick to the original. Overall, Urban Decay for setting sprays if you want your makeup to last all day, period. So 10 out of 10 as well. All right, so next I wanna mention quickly my favorite two foundations. I'm sure you guys will already know, of course, NARS has to be in there. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. I use the shade Tahoe. When I tell you guys, this will give you full coverage, hydrated, dewy, flawless finish. And it just has your makeup looking like a 10 out of 10, okay? But I love that you can build it up to a full coverage and it looks like butter on my dry skin, guys. It eats every single time, okay? I love it so much. And I love that the shade range is really good too. Like I can easily find my winter and my summer shade without having to mix two shades of a foundation because who really has time for that in 2023? I expect the shade range to come through 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a beautiful medium to full coverage finish. Now another foundation that I really, really love is from Armani. This is their Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm in the shade number nine. This one I feel like is really good for more of like a sheer to medium coverage finish. And what I really like about both foundations is that they do not oxidize. That is really important. We do not want our foundations oxidizing and turning gray around our mouth throughout the day. It's just not cute. It's not it. This formula is gonna stay. And what I really love is that they recently launched a mini version too. So if you wanna try the mini version first, you can go ahead and do that. But this foundation eats every single time. Now, when it comes to concealer, I've been really loving this one from Huda Beauty. This is their full filter luminous matte concealer. I use a couple of shades, honestly. So I'll make sure to list like the few shades that I like in the description box, but they are so good guys. When I say full coverage, hydrating underneath the eyes, you don't get like those creasing lines underneath the eyes, any of that. It's gonna give you full coverage slay. And I really feel like they snatch the under eyes, period. And to complement it, honestly, <laughs> These two together, chef's kiss. And I'm sure you guys have seen this powder all over your For You page too. It's definitely a product that's hyped, but not overhyped, you know? This is their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. And I use the shade Banana Bread. When I tell you when I use these two together, my under eye is gonna eat every single time. I'm not gonna be dry. I'm not gonna have flashback, none of that stuff. Like this is gonna give you the most flawless under eye. So I really do love these two products from Huda Beauty. Now another setting powder that I would love to put you guys onto is this one from Laura Mercier. If it's not the Huda Beauty one, I'm using this one from Laura Mercier. And this is their translucent loose setting powder. It's their ultra blur. And what I really like about it is that it has that blurring effect. I mean, it's not called ultra blur for nothing, okay? I know it's crazy to say, but I feel like this one is so much better than the original. The original has always been an OG and will always be an iconic setting powder. But this one, they really stepped their game up and it delivers every single time. And it's really translucent. Like I feel like there's a lot 
lot of setting powders out there that say that they're translucent, but they give you flashback, which is not cute. This one does not do that. So 10 out of 10, Laura Mercier did their thing. Oh my gosh, guys, I almost forgot to mention another color corrector that I love to use. It's from Bobbi Brown. This is their skin correcting stick. I like to use the shade Deep Peach. I love to use this like around my mouth area. And then let's say I'll use the Rare Beauty one underneath my eyes, or I can get away with using this underneath my eyes too. Using a color corrector makes me not have to use as much of a higher coverage foundation because I'm canceling out the main places that I need to cancel out. So that allows you to use less product, which means less cakiness. So definitely check out this color corrector from Bobbi Brown. Now, when it comes to bronzers, I feel like every single Sephora sale video that I do, I talk about this bronzer because it is that good. And I feel like if I haven't convinced you yet, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their airbrush bronzer. It's their matte airbrush bronzer. I can get away with using the shade tan and I can also get away with using the shade deep depending on like how tan I get in the summer. Like I mix a little bit of the shade deep. But guys, you guys can see how big this is. It will take you forever to hit pan on this bronzer. And that's why I feel like it's an investment and a product that is so worth you picking up during the Sephora sale. The pigment is everything. The blendability, it's not patchy. It's smooth. It's perfect. Like I say every single time, please pick this up. Try it and thank me later because Charlotte Tilbury snapped on this bronzer. Now when it comes to blush, oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with this blush from Patrick Ta. This is their double take cream and powder blush. As you can see, it has the cream and then the powder. This is the shade She's a Doll. And I love the fact that I can use a cream and then there's a powder that I can go ahead and set it. It's like two products in one. And I feel like Patrick Ta is one of those brands that just gives you really beautiful packaging too, like Rare Beauty. When you have it in your kit, it's so pretty that you cannot wait to pull this product out and beat your face with it. You know what I mean? And I feel like Patrick Ta has just been killing it when it comes to complexion products. So if you're looking for a new blush to pick up, I'm telling you, pick up one of the shades or a few shades in this blush duo because you will not be disappointed. We're almost at the end here, but I really wanted to take the time to mention these lip glosses from NARS. Well, one of them I like as a topper shade. Now this is their Afterglow Lip Shine and the shade that I really like to use as a topper is called Sun Rush. As you can see, it has like a little bit of shimmer in it. So keep that in mind, but I feel like it's the perfect topper if you have a matte lip and you want to turn it into a gloss and it just looks so pretty and the lip gloss stays. Like it really does not budge. That's why I feel like it will always be in my purse. But this one is more of like a pigmented shade. You know what I mean? And this is in the shade Chelsea's Girls. And this shade is more of like a beautiful pink. So if I want a cute pink lip topper, I always go in and bring this in my purse because like I said, their lip glosses have really good longevity. If you guys want to try a new gloss, if you're a gloss girl like me, make sure you guys go ahead and check out this one from NARS. Now, last but not least, I really wanted to put you guys on to this lash glue from Velour. You've seen me talk about Velour lashes or Velour Beauty all the time because when it comes to like the eyelash category, they dominate it for me. Like every single time or every look, you guys know I'm always wearing Velour because they're that good. But the main reason why I wanted to talk to you about this lash glue is for those of you guys with sensitive eyes. I have extremely sensitive eyes and there's been times where I've tried other lash glues and it's caused my eyes to have an irritation, swelling, and it's just not good. That's why I feel like the lash glue that you use is super important. Your eye area is a very delicate area and you want to make sure you don't use anything to irritate your eye. Because you know what that does? If you have an allergic reaction that puts you out from not serving face or creating content, if you like to create content, that takes you out of the game for like a good week until your eyes heal. So I want to put you guys onto the best lash glue at Sephora, in my opinion, and we'll have your lashes sticking onto your eyeballs all day long, okay? <laughs> and I really like to use this white one because it's clear, but they also have one in black if you do prefer a black lash glue. Now, when it comes to lashes, you guys already know I love all of the styles from the Vegan Luxe Lash Collection from Velour. These lashes are for my girls who love a more full face beat, okay? Because these are very glam, very giving, like, you know, I'm here to slay period type of lashes. If you're looking for more of like a natural, beautiful lashes, you'll really love the lashes from their hemp derived lash collection. You know, not every day do you feel like you wanna wear a full glam lash, you know? When I am not trying to go for that vibe, the plant fiber lashes are just perfection. So yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Those are all the products that I have been really loving lately that I wanted to take the time to mention to you guys. I hope you're able to pick up all of your favorites during the Sephora sale. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out everything that I've listed in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, come say hi in the comments. It's been so long and I've missed you guys. So please come say hi in the comments. And like I said, we will do more of like a sit down catch up sesh. I'll make sure to upload that next. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are greatly appreciated. And like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.